Welcome to our video on the benefits of establishing a holding company structure in Poland. If you're a foreign investor interested in Polish business, you'll find valuable information here. Stay tuned. Okay, let's go. Benefits of a holding company in Poland. Poland's economy is growing rapidly, and businesses need better organization to manage their diverse portfolios. A holding company can be a useful solution, consolidating various businesses under one umbrella. Some of the advantages include selling individual entities without generating additional tax liabilities, easier financing and improved credit worthiness, efficiently investing funds from one branch of business into new ventures. Previously, Polish entrepreneurs had to look for holding solutions in countries like Cyprus or Luxembourg. However, recent changes to Polish law have introduced new options, the Alternative Investment Company, ASI, and the Polish Holding Company, PSH. Hmm, Alternative Investment Company, ASI. The ASI has been around for a few years, initially designed as an investment vehicle. Now it's widely used for holding activities. Benefits of an ASI include tax exemption on the sale of shares, provided that ASI holds at least 5% of shares for two years before the sale. No thin capitalization rules, allowing the deduction of financial expenses without limitations. Eligibility for tax exemption on dividends received from subsidiaries. Individual investors in ASI can also deduct additional income costs up to PLN 250000 approximately $56,000 per year. It's not much. In my opinion, heh. <laughs> Polish Holding Company, PSH. The PSH was introduced in 2022 and offers a more recent solution for holding activities. The main goal is to attract domestic and foreign investors to establish holding companies in Poland. A PSH can be recognized if it meets certain conditions, such as being a tax resident in Poland and holding at least 10% of shares in a subsidiary. PSH benefits from additional tax exemptions and can be applied to both domestic and foreign subsidiaries, provided that they meet specific requirements. Domestic versus foreign subsidiaries. A domestic subsidiary must be a tax resident in Poland, operate in the form of a limited liability or joint stock company, and not belong to a tax capital group. A foreign subsidiary, on the other hand, should have legal personality, be subject to CIT on all income, regardless of the place of its realization, and not have its seat in a tax haven or an uncooperative jurisdiction. Now for the episode recap, the Polish holding company structure offers many benefits for foreign investors. Both ASI and PSH options provide tax exemptions and simplified management of diverse business portfolios. If you're considering investing in Poland, now is a great time to explore these options and grow your business under the protective umbrella of a Polish holding company. Thank you for watching our video on the benefits of holding company structures in Poland. We hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions or need further guidance, please feel free to contact us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. See you in the next video. Bye.